Welcome, friends. It is good to have you here in this time of worship, in this time of prayer, in this time of sharing together in beautiful music and joining with one another around our Lord's table. As we begin this morning, let us do so by lighting a candle. This light reminds us of God's presence with us, always. A light that shines despite the uncertainty, the unrest, the unknowing, the waiting. A light that shines despite the darkness. And now let us take a deep breath together. Let us breathe in God's shalom. Let us settle into this space with one another, believing and knowing that there is room here for you. And let us hear together these familiar words from Psalm 46. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. God says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in all the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress.
oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. When the oceans rise, two words from scripture that I would like to share with you this morning. The first are familiar words of praise from Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and by petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, Brothers and sisters, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. The second passage I would like to share with you this morning is also familiar. It comes from the fifth chapter of Matthew but I'd like to share a less familiar translation found in the message. You're familiar with the old written law, love your friends, and its unwritten companion, hate your enemy. I'm challenging that. I'm telling you to love your enemies. Let them bring out the very best in you, not the worst. When someone gives you a hard time, respond with the energies of prayer. For then you are working out of your true selves your God created selves. This is what God does. God gives God's best, the sun to warm and the rain to nourish to everyone, regardless the good and bad, the nice and nasty. If all you do is love the lovable, do you expect a bonus? Anybody can do that. If you simply say hello to those who greet you, do you expect a medal? Any run of the mill sinner does that. In a word, what I'm saying is grow up. Your kingdom subjects now live like it. Live out your God-created identity. Live generously and live graciously toward 
others the way God lives toward you. Let us now join our hearts together in prayer with one another. Let us pray. Oh, loving God, be among us in grace and in truth and a love that holds all we are and all we long to be, that we might be here together amidst all the crazy our lives and this world holds amidst all the feelings we are feeling this roller coaster ride of emotions moving between grief anxiety joy loss disappointment to opportunity division brokenness healing and hope the hope of this new day a day that calls us, forgives us, renews us, and sets us free to be a people of love. O oh God, source of all life, when we feel empty and weary, may we find healing and rest and peace in you. May we draw from the deep wellspring of your strength and wisdom, your comfort and your mercy. Grant us perspective eyes to see and ears to hear in the midst of so much brokenness and chaos. When we feel quick to judge, quiet us. When we are acting grouchy and unkind and full of ourselves and our narrow opinions, forgive us. Forgive us for the terrible things we think about others and about ourselves, these bodies of yours, these made in your image with your breath and your goodness and belovedness bodies. Forgive us for the wrongs we do to one another, to the vulnerable and to those we have marginalized for the ways we are so easily distracted and complacent. Forgive us for the division and for the deep hurt and the pain that has occurred in our communities and in our nation and in our world. Forgive us for thinking we know the hearts of our enemies. Help us, oh God, to stop demonizing others who do not think or believe or look or act like us. Help us not to judge others just because they sin differently than we do. God, when we feel we have nothing nice to say, may we quiet ourselves and turn to you in prayer. May we guard our hearts from the hardening of anger and hate. May we draw from your enormous source of forgiveness and love and begin the hard work of mending and healing. Be 
among us this day in peace. Peace that fills us with hope again, that speaks into a future filled with possibility soaked in mercy, just systems, and compassion for all of us. Be among us with patience and calmness and turn us once more towards the light of your peace that holds us, our hopes and our dreams in a place where we can see again who you are to each of us here and in lands far away and who we are to you, beloved, forgiven, renewed, and set free, and who we are, who we are supposed to be to one another, neighbor, salt, light, branches, daily bread. It is in your mercy, O oh God, that we pray. Amen. This is my song. your table and my table, an extended table that reaches beyond our sanctuary, beyond our pavilion. 
beyond our localized membership, beyond our traditions. A table that is open to all. A holy place where bread is broken, story and hope are shared. God's welcome and love and unconditional belonging can be heard by all. And in doing so, the kingdom is touched. This table filled with such love. Remember with me, it was Passover and Jesus was at the table with those who followed him most intimately. Over the past three years, they had been turning the world right side up through amazing, unconditional love and unheard of radical welcome. At that table, Jesus knew that there was one who would disown him like he never knew him. And there was also one who would betray him and turn him over to Rome. And there were a handful of others who would abandon him when he needed them the most. And yet, and still, Jesus sat at that table. He modeled to us that the table of God is a table that holds our grief, but also welcomes us with grace. It is a, a table filled with extravagant welcome and deep love. It says, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are not. I don't care what you did last month, last week, last night. I don't even care what you did this morning because this is God's table. It's not our table. And God is so glad that you are here just as you are you who are filled with such joy and you who are broken to your core this table is for you this table where the ordinary becomes extraordinary as jesus blessed bread broke it and gave it to his disciples just as he gives it to us in remembrance of his life and his call to us to live in his love. When the ordinary becomes extraordinary as Jesus took the cup and gave it to all who gathered that day and all who gather this day, in remembrance of his love and his forgiveness poured out for each one of us. Let us pray with one another. Loving God, at every table around the world, may we meet you and each other at every table in kitchen or on hillside. May we know you in the faces of those who join us. At every table, real or imagined, may we find you in the welcome we share. And here, now in this place, which is every place and this table which is every table 
May we extend its sides, open its gate, stretch out its welcome, and make the place we are now a holy, earthly, heavenly moment of bread and wine and grace and love where there is indeed enough for us all. And if we imagine ourselves unworthy, may we know such a place as this of new life, reimagined worth, unconditional forgiveness, amazing grace, wondrous love, and generous blessing. At every table we gather round, may we rise again, fed and renewed in you as we pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Come, let us now come together and break bread and share in the cup. You are my hiding place, you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever I am afraid. I trust in you, you are my hiding place, you always fill my heart with Until we meet again, may God be with you.